Endel and Griffin, are they having a relationship? They've gotten close. How close? I wouldn't call it a relationship. What you call it? It's complicated. Not complicated. They're either having one or they're not having one. And Griff, Griffin, it's one of the good guys, isn't he? So Griffin saved her life in the back of an ambulance. And I'm the one that put her there. What? Said yourself, my death broke Kendall's heart. And then the good doctor came and put it back together again. In more ways than one. What else am I being spared? Well, Ricky Torres, the man that made your plane go down. Kendall got the evidence to put him in prison with Griffin's help. She put her life on the line for me. Would you expect anything less? No. Nope. Can I ask you something? Why were you in that room with me? I was trying to get answers from David. How did that go? Jesse, what, no flowers? I'm gonna go. <sighs> you? Be easy on him, don't push him too hard. I'm sure if I do, I'll push right back. Well, look who it is. What now? Oh, let me guess. Dizziness, shortness of breath. So what symptoms are we faking today? Let's make this quick. What do you want with Zach? My personal differences with the people of this town have too often overshadowed my tremendous accomplishments as a doctor. Up until now, any legacy I may have had has been blotted out by ill will. But now, when people think of David Hayward... You want to be known for doing something good. Mm-hmm. Well, they don't give the Nobel Prize for faking your own death. They don't give it for shredding evidence, either. Well, I have to protect my research from those who would seek to sabotage it. You know, small-minded people, like your husband. Did he tell you that he broke into my office? Was that before or after you drugged me and locked me up in your lab? <laughs> That's funny. Locked you up. You were there of your own free will, Greenlee, remember? You wanted to see Leo. Don't even say Leo's name to me. Fine. But maybe you're not the only one who has been holding a torch for someone who's passed on. Maybe I have another patient in my lab that has enough spark to get her fires burning again. You know, someone like, oh, I don't know, Jillian Andrasi, perhaps? So what do you think, really? Like Tad and Kendall? You think Ryan might be eager to see the love of his life again? There was a time when people thought that Ryan would never get over losing Jillian. Who knows? Maybe he never has. You don't have Jillian. You sure about that, huh? Her heart is beating in Laura English's chest. Well, maybe we need to double check that with a physician to perform the transplant. Oh, that's right. That doctor would be me. You can't make me squirm over Jillian. Ryan and I are on solid ground. Hmm. If that were true, then why are your hands shaking? Maybe it's another one of those symptoms, huh? You're losing your touch, Greenlee. There was a time when you could hide your insecurities with some tough talk. But now I can see right through you. I'll leave you to your delusions. You both know I'm not the one lying to myself. Hey, tell Ryan an old friend says hello. Look, I'll buy you. Where are you going? Checking on Zach. Oh, how is he? He's getting stronger. Good, good. Maybe he can help us fill in some of the blanks. Yeah, well, good luck with that. You know how Zach loves to give information. Well, he must have said something to get you upset. Eh. It wasn't Zach. Hayward? Because I thought we agreed... I don't want to that talk about David. I, I don't want to talk about him either, but just tell me what he said to you. Nothing. You know, with everything that's going on, 
I just want to focus on you and me for a while. Okay? Mm. Mm.